Hello, I'm the Original Cartographer, and in this video we're going to be getting the Nuka-Cola Quantum Paint for the X-01 Power Armor from the TNT Dome over at the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. Uh, we're going to start this out here at the Nuka-Cola plant, well the Kanawa Nuka-Cola plant I should say, and let's just head right on in. Alright, so... We were here just in the last video, getting the... Uh, Key to Dome 3. Wow. Out of the locker and testing. And this time... We're coming right here to this bathroom. Let's see what he has. Oh. Definitely more of them. But anyway, okay. Let's get in here. All right, now you open up the out of order stall and look down to the right and there it is, a paired key card. Grab that. Okay. All right, well anyway, with that key card in hand, we need to go to Tangara Town. Or Tanagra Town? Tanagra Town, I believe. Yes, Tanagra Town. Uh, it's just over here northeast of Harbors Ferry and it's a very interesting location. Let's head there now. Alright, and here we are at Tanagra Town. And that is what we're looking for right there. This whole structure here. Where these vines grew out of the ground and lifted an entire chunk of earth up with it. We're going to go to the top of that. Uh, now it's uh, quite a long... Ooh, there's a sloth over there. Uh, anyway, it's quite a long climb. So, alright, so you start the climb here with the school bus. I just wanted to make sure to note that. Right, you have to go through this cave, which is full of cave crickets. Alright, so yeah, there's this whole weird thing here in the middle of this tower. Uh, I will note this place is full of gold veins, and there are crystal veins as well, but yeah, there's this weird head up here. But, uh, anyway, now that all those crickets are dead, or at least most of them are, I guess. Alright, now that all the crickets are dead, uh, this place is something of a maze, but it's not terribly hard to find your way out. There we go. Alright, so yeah, you didn't have to go kind of sideways and slightly downish a little bit. I would definitely recommend wearing power armor coming up here, uh, because the fall will absolutely kill you otherwise. We're near the top now. Okay. And here we go. First of all, I'm going to grab that giddy up buttercup, but then take a running jump. Oh, well, she got a little too high there. Okay. And this is what we're after. Under this trifold American flag. Paired key card number two. Okay, now then. Let's head on over to the crashed plane over here in the mire. All right. Now then, what we're looking for is actually directly beneath the main fuselage of the plane. Specifically, we're looking for a suitcase. There are a few, so we'll have to find the right one. Alright, I think it's this one. Nope. This one? Yes. Nuka-Cola Marketing Access Code. Grab that. And now then, I think... Yes, I've not actually been to this location on this character. We have to go to this uh, fountain here on the map, so I'm going to go to the Monongah Overlook and head right over there.
All right, here we are. Uh, now this place sometimes defended by robots, sometimes defended by the scorched. The Ingram Mansion. I think that thing is shooting with a saw blade right now. It's got incredible accuracy for a blind robot. happen but I'm not gonna complain about it cuz I'm glad that things dead anyway uh, the way to get upstairs by the way you have to go actually around the back of the building I do want to loot that legendary robot up there here we go okay all right then heading back downstairs we have a note here on the, on the uh, what is this, uh, stereo. CH Monthly, October. This is not really related, but we'll read it real quick. Cryptid Hunter Monthly, October 2077. It's time to spring into a new season of cryptid hunting. Rain or shine, our vigilant readers continue to report new sightings and insights. For this month's special edition newsletter, we're delighted to share a few reader submissions that caught our eye. Ode to Mothman, from Petra, Kanawa County. Red eyes, bright as rubies, or a freshly risen mosquito bite. I saw her outside my bedroom door. How did she get in? Who only knows but desire? Whence came the putrid mist from Yong, Greenbrier County? We haven't given enough thought to the Flatwood Monster's scent. Most pass it off as a byproduct of crash landing through five layers of the atmosphere, but it seems to me that the monster would have fully prepared its exoskeleton for such trials. What if the scent originated from illegal activities on a nearby farm? What if the scent was artificially applied in a misguided attempt to appeal to us? What if the stress of the journey caused the monster to expel sulfuric fletches? A sheepish confession from Michael, Jefferson County. I was invited on a camping trip by this really pretty girl in my class, and the truth is, I only said yes because a sheep squatch was sighted near Berkeley Springs, and I really want to track it down. Does that make me a bad person? I hope it doesn't. I like Cindy, but she's no sheep. <laughs> I like Cindy, but she's no sheep squatch. We understand, Michael. We understand. Julia H. Park. Alright. And in here is what... Uh, actually, no, it's the next room over. It's what we're looking for. This is uh, just the kitchen. Uh, we gotta go to the next room over. And around the back, I guess. Okay, and here we are. This is what we're looking for, this terminal. Now, because we have that code from the plane crash, we can access this uh, generate one-time key, but let's read this real quick. Nuka-Cola Marketing Systems. Welcome, loyal marketing agent. Attention, Nuka-Cola Marketing Systems Terminal access interface is only permitted to be used internally. External user access will be punished by total unemployment. Warning. System security error. Credentials access required for key generation. Generate one-time key. Okay, so yeah, again, if you don't have that new Coca-Cola marketing memo from the plane, you will not be able to access and get this one-time code. Uh, in this case, again, it only works for me in this one situation. When you get it, you will get your own unique randomly generated code. 690079. Generating a new one-time key will invalidate this key code. Okay, so we're going all the way down here to Overlook Cabin on Lake Somerville. All right, now there are some, usually some scorched in here. That's probably the case again now. Uh, we're gonna be going to the basement of this building. Hey, level 70. No, that's not it. There's still one out here somewhere. Another giddy up buttercup. Hey, 
And there's also a uh, cap stash over here. Oh. Well, I think that last scorch just killed itself. Alright, so, an important note to make. If you do not have that code that we just generated up at the Ingram Mansion, do not, and I, I'm repeating this because it's very important, do not use those two key cards that you obtained from the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant and Tanagra Town, because it will, when you use these key codes, or these key cards, I mean, it destroys them, and if you don't then have the ability to uh, access the next part, you will have to go back and get those key cards again. So, ID card reader right here, and an ID card reader right here. So, one, and two. There we go. Now we input that code that we just had randomly generated for us. Six, nine, zero, zero, seven, nine. Okay, TNT Dome Key 7. All right, uh, so let's get back to the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. Okay, it's a foggy day here at the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. And again, we're going to head right on into the guardhouse is our first thing when we get here. All right, and let's see what is in Dome 7. Current owner, undisclosed. Lease term, awaiting final term contract. Payment status, pending initial payment. Note, granted early access and anonymity due to large cash down payment. Okay, so let's get to Dome 7. And again, I'm going to try to show you the most repeatable, well, easily repeatable route. All right, so we follow the road north again. Take a right here. All right, and right about here, when we get to this uh, this 88 East sign, we're gonna head straight into the woods. Get past these boulders. Go around this tree. And here it is, TNT Dome 7. Let's open it up. Okay, and again, we got some more Nuka Cola stuff in here. Uh, a lot of good junk. Got like battery oil and gears and adhesive. Unfortunately, a plastic cafeteria tray. But right here, plan X01 Power Armor Nuka Cola Quantum Paint. Okay, I'm gonna actually just grab some more of this junk real quick because then end up might end up needing it here. Okay, now I'm gonna scrap this stuff and get out the proper suit of armor. Luckily, unlike the last one, I actually do have this armor ready to go. The last, one, the last one I had to spend four hours getting the stuff all together, and even then I didn't realize I was actually missing one of the legs. All right, and let's work on this. And before we work on it, let's actually read the plan. Here we go. Okay. Alright, and there it is. I think that actually looks pretty good. I think I like that more than my uh, vault tech paint that I got out of the Atom Shop. Alright, just to recap where we've been. We started off here at the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant in that bathroom in the out of order stall grabbing that first key card. We then went to Tanagra Town and we found the second key card under that trifold flag at the very top. We then visited the crashed plane here in the mire opened up that suitcase and found the Nuka Cola marketing access code. We have then visited Ingram Mansion and used that memo in order to get a one time uniquely generated access code that we used here at the Overlook Cabin along with those two key cards to get the TNT Dome 7 key. And then we returned up here to the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. Now, if you're specifically wondering where Dome 7 is on the map, this one really has the worst location in terms of uh, landmarks you have to have on the map. I mean, it's 
Uh, that's pretty much the best I can give you right there. There's no real discernible features. I mean, it's just, I guess, straight north of this medium-sized gray rock. I don't know, just slightly east and then directly north of the road of the Black Mountain Ordnance Works logo. I'm not really sure. And again, it's, it's there's no real good location. But anyway, I think this paint looks pretty good. And uh, you now know how to get it. If you uh, didn't see the previous videos where we got the alien blaster and the ability to convert it so that it used fusion cells, or the video where we got the Nuka-Cola paint for the T-51B, those are also available on my channel. So if you want to see more videos in my series, subscribe. This has been the Resolute Cartographer. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to get notifications as to when these videos become available, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments or questions, leave them for me and I'll try to get back to you. And I hope to see everybody again next time. Thanks for watching.